Okay, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. It's good to know that you are good. That you are fine. That you are okay. That you are excellent. <laughs> Well, guys, today is our class number three. Let me share with you the class presentation for this evening. We're going to learn about simple present statements, especially irregular verbs. Today, we are going to study three irregular verbs that are important that you know how to use them, how they function. <laughs> and as you can see, today is Thursday, May 25th, 2023. So, that is the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. Okay, we're going to start with activity one, which is going to be head drawing. Activity two, practice time. Activity three wrap up. It's a very short agenda, but with a lot of things to do. <coughs> okay, guys, uh, before we start, I need you to say present or here because I'm going to take this in there. So, uh, the first person in the list is Alba Jocelyn Romero Lara. Alba Jocelyn. She's not in the class today. Okay. What about Amalia Beatriz Tobar? Present. Thank you, Amalia. Ana Julia Flores Cetino. Present. Thank you. Anderson Palomo. Arely Janet Cornejo. Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Brenda Dimas. Briseida Janel Garcia. Present. Thank you. Uh, Briseida Yarisa Melgar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Adolfo Garcia. Present. Carlos, Carlos Manuel Velázquez. No present. Carolina Elizabeth Garcia. Carolina Elizabeth Garcia. No present. Selina Yasmin Perez. No present. Cindy Fabiola Molina. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Carolina Cruz Garcia. Present. Thank you. Cristian Josué Leiva. Present. Thank you, Cristian. Daniel Enrique Ayala. Present. Daniel Enrique. Okay. Present. Thank you. Daniel Quijano Gutiérrez. Absent. Edith Carolina Rivera. Present. Thank you, Edith. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Not present. Elsa Noelia Portillo. Present. Thank you, Elsa. Erika Noemi Hueso. Present. Thank you, Erika. Stephanie Garcia Angel. Stephanie Angel. Y no present. Evelyn Janet Rivera. Present. Thank you, Evelyn. Fatima, Fatima Jocelyn Portillo. Present. Thank you, Fatima. Gabriel is at Guevara. I'm here. Thank you, Gabriel. Gabriel Alexandra Lopez. No present. Gerardo Arturo Guzman. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jeannie Lisset. Present. Thank you. Jose Heriberto Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. 
and thank you for connecting on time. Okay, thank you for all the people who are punctual. Thank you for being punctual. Okay, so as I tell you, as I told you, we're going to start with this activity, have drawing. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó, será que yo tenía oh. del audio. <laughs> okay, Arely, sí. Janet Cornejo. Sí. Okay. okay, yes, because I mentioned your name. <laughs> but no problem. Are you ready? Uh, Have your attendance. Okay, so head. What is head? This is your head, right? Head. And drawing? Drawing, right? Drawing. So we're going to have this activity to practice the third person singular. So you need, for this activity, you need to have your notebook. You need your notebook and you need a pencil or a pen. Do you have your notebook, pencil or pen ready? Yeah? Yes. 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 Great. Okay. So this is what you're going to do now. You are going to put your notebook on your head because that's why it's called head drawing. So you're gonna put your notebook on your head. Put your notebook on your head. Excellent. <laughs> okay. And now you need to put your notebook on your head. Obviously, with a blank page, blank page, a blank page. And you are going to draw. You're going to draw. Van a dibujar. You're going to draw. Okay? So what are you going to draw? First, you are going to draw a big circle on your head. On your head, notebook on your head. Put your notebook on your head and draw a big circle. Draw a circle. Yeah. Amalia, Heriberto, Arequino. Notebook on your head. Okay, and draw a circle. Next, <coughs> sorry guys, mouth. Draw a nose. You need to draw a nose. Over there, draw a nose. 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 But you need to have your notebook on your head, Grisia, Amalia, Riverto. Notebook on your head. Okay. Draw a circle, draw a nose inside the circle. Draw eyes, eyes, two eyes, the eyes, the ones you can see with. Draw eyes. And draw hair. You can draw hair. But always your notebook on your head. Notebook on your head, okay? You don't have to see your drawing. No, vean. Don't see your drawing. Don't see it. Don't see it. Okay, draw ears. Draw ears. 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 Okay. Um. You are, and draw, I forgot. Draw a mouth. A mouth. Yes. You have to put it here, but you have to draw a mouth. Big or small, you choose. Okay, are you finished? Okay, at the count of three, you are going to show your picture. One, two, three, show your drawing. Yeah, big is very small, very little. 
Okay, Claudia, I don't see it very well. Oh, uh, Carlos. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing. Now, guys, what you're going to do is that that's your friend. That is your friend. You were going to write some information about that friend. For example, you can say, oh, this is my friend. This is my friend, Filiberto. Okay, so it's an imaginary friend. Imaginary friend. This is my friend, Filiberto. He is 25 years old. He lives in Brazil. He works in a circus. He dances very well. And he doesn't speak Chinese. So you're going to use the third person singular, right? Could be he or it could be she. He or she. He or she. And remember to add S to the verb. And also write a negative, a negative statement. Okay? So let's work on that. Please. Let's work on this. In a moment, I will ask you. Alba Jocelyn Romero? Alba Jocelyn Romero? Present. Okay. A ver, ¿quiénes se acaban de conectar? Who has just connected? Gabriela Alexandra, Stephanie García, Eduardo Enrique, Daniel Quijano, Carlos Manuel, Arely, Anderson. Gracias. Present. Oh. Yeah, Arely, you are here. <laughs> Thank you. Hola, gracias. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. 
I think it's enough time. So right now, let me see. Okay. In this moment, I'm going to spin a wheel with that has all your name. Okay. So the person selected, the chosen person is going to share with the class. Okay. So let's see. The chosen one is. Alba Jocelyn, okay, Alba. Can you share with the class, Alba? What? Okay. <laughs> you are going to share the information about your friend. Mm -hmm. um, so. Show your friend. I, my friend. But show it, show it, show it. Ah, perdí la pantalla. Show your, no, it's, I stopped sharing, but you need to show your, your drawing, your friend, your notebook. Um, Ana. Okay, you can say, this is my friend, Ana, but we want to see the picture. Mm. The drawing and the woohoo, the drawing. Okay. But can you invent about a friend? You were saying, this is my friend Anna. Anna. Mm -hmm. He's um, he or she twenty five. She is twenty five years old. She's in El Salvador. She were in Petro Market. He she works. In the market. Oh, in the market. Mm -hmm. And she. No, Very <laughs> you have to change you get you have to mention another activity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she, <laughs> she plays soccer she watches TV. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. She likes a pizza or pupusas. I don't know anything. Uh, she watches TV. She watches. She watches TV and watches. negative. She. No, I see. She doesn't write car. Not right. He doesn't drive a car. Okay. Thank you, Yoseline. Thank you so much. Okay. So now let's see who is the next person. Please be ready. <coughs> Sorry, guys. The next person is Jarisa. Okay, sure. Please. 
Yeah. This is my friend Miranda. She is 22 years old. She lives in Santa Ana. She works with me. She's a colleague. She sings very well, but she doesn't dance. She doesn't eat pizza, but she loves eat hamburgers. She loves eating hamburgers. Great, okay. great, great job, <laughs> Applause for Jerisa, please. Okay, and now, next person. Let's see who is the lucky person. The lucky one, the chosen one is Briseida, but the other Briseida. <laughs> Briseida Janet. Okay. <laughs> Where is Briseida Janet? Briseida, where are Hi. you? Okay. Hi, is my friend Leticia. Hi, is 23. Uh, he is, um, he lives in San Salvador. Uh, he or he she? Oh, Sorry. Here. He or she? Here. You said Patricia, right? Patricia, right? Yes. So it's she. She. It's a woman. It's a girl. She. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. She, she, he works office. She works in an office. office. Uh huh. He does so so. She is does so so. Mm, I don't get. I don't get it. She dances. Yes. Okay. She dances a little? So so. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's finished. Okay, Briseida. Thank you. Thank you for your example. <laughs> okay, good job, Briseida. Thank you. Okay, applauses for Briseida. Okay. Let's see who is the next. And the next one is the last one. Areli. <laughs> you were the chosen one. You were lucky. You were lucky. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, Como, como dice, como un ejemplo para un amigo, ¿va? una amiga. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, this is my friend, Eva. She is for 40 years old. She is live in Cajutepeque. She lives. She lives. She lives. She lives. She works in Alcaldía. She works. She works in, in the city hall. City hall, alcaldía. City hall of San Vicente. In the city hall okay. of San Vicente. Okay. She dances very well. She dances. She, she does not speak Spanish. She doesn't speak Spanish. Yes. She doesn't speak. Spanish? No. Only English. She doesn't speak English. <laughs> oh, she doesn't speak English. Okay. <laughs> and the picture? The drawing? The drawing in your notebook? Y el dibujo, Arely? The drawing in your notebook? No, 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 no le entendí. The, the drawing. El dibujo, the drawing. Ah, el dibujo. Uy, pero me quedaron bien feo. That, that's the idea. <laughs> Yo no puedo dibujar, teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. 
Good try. Okay, thank you, Areli. Aplausos for Areli too. El semi falla, el dibujo, para eso no sirvo. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let's continue. Remember, guys, when we talk about a third person, he or she, he, a boy, she, a girl, or it, objects, thing, a thing, or an animal, remember, we add S to the verb. He lives in San Vicente. He works in the hospital. He dances. He plays. He um, studies. Right? Or in the negative form, we don't add the yes. This is just a review of the previous class. Okay. Let's continue now learning about three verbs. Today, you are going to learn about three irregular verbs. Okay, who can tell me what are the three verbs? What are those three verbs? Okay, so say Sever have. The verb do and the verb go. Okay, these are irregular verbs. Irregular, irregular verbs. Have, do, and go. Why are they irregular verbs? Because usually with the other verbs, <clears throat> we only put the S to the verb, right? For example, <clears throat> let's see, <clears throat> make, I just put the S and it's make in the third person. Or the verb uh, like, just add the S, like. My sister likes BTS, for example. <coughs> but with have, do, and go is different. They change. We don't say have it. That's incorrect. We change to has. The third person form of have is has. We do, the third person form is does. I add ES. And with go, the same. It goes. Okay. Go. Have. Does. And go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having problems with my throat. <laughs> okay. And we can see the examples. I need someone to help me read the examples. Please help me. Somebody? Briseida? Uh, Briseida, uh, okay, I want to give the opportunity to Christian. Okay, Christian. Thank you. <clears throat> I have a hat. She has a hat. I do exercise. He does exercise. We go to the gym. He goes to the gym. Thank you so much, Christian. Okay. You see? I, you, we, they have a hat. Right? But he or she yes. it has. has or it, right? He, she, or it. she, he, or it has. has. Okay? Has. For example, you can say, my mother has a, a big house. My brother has a nice car. My cat has a, what? I don't know, my cat has a toy, okay? Now with the verb do, I do exercise, you do exercise, 
we do exercises, they do exercises, but she does exercises. He does exercises. It does exercises. And the same with go. We go to the gym, but he or she goes, goes to the gym. Okay? Is it clear? <clears throat> Good. Gabriel, what is your question? When I know uh, uh, the difference between do and and those two verb and auxiliar. O cómo puedo saber la diferencia cuando lo están usando de auxiliar y cuando lo están usando de verbo. Have. El, el do, el do, do y el dos. Do and does. Does. Okay. Remember the structure for sentences? Subject, right? Subject, verb, complement. So in right here, we have an affirmative sentence, right? Subject, the verb is do, right? The same with he does exercises, subject, verb, complement, affirmative. Now, <clears throat> we use do and does in questions. We use the auxiliaries, do and does in questions. So in that case, you, we start the question with do or with does. It's uh, first. Right? So in that case, that would be, for example, I'm gonna write here. Do you do your homework every day? Okay, I'm using do here as an auxiliary because it's a question. And I need to start the question with the auxiliary do. But okay. my verb is do also, right? Do my homework, do your homework. Do you do your homework every day? Yes, I do. Now with that, for example, does Maria do the laundry on weekend? Okay. In this case, does is auxiliary verb for questions. Maria, the subject, and do the laundry is the verb. Do the laundry. Does Maria do the laundry on weekends? Okay. So I don't know if that answered your question, Gabriel. Yes, yes. Okay. The auxiliaries is only for questions. Do and that. We start in questions only. In okay. negative, we use don't or doesn't. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Gabriel. And it's okay. Your question, thank you. Good. So let's go over the next exercise. The next slide. <clears throat> I would like a volunteer to read this. Carlos? Hello. <clears throat> okay, Carlo. <clears throat> okay, I read this. Uh... You can read like this, Carlo. I have okay. a card. You okay. have a doll. We have a JoJo. They okay. have a book. Mm -hmm. And then you continue with the others. I have a card. 
I have a, I have a doll. And you, you have a, you have a doll. We have a Jojo. They have a book. He has a robot. She has a pencil. It has a sharp, sharpie, sharper. Sharpener. Sharp. Yes. It has a stapler. Stapler. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Here you see it says name because we can mention the name of a person here. For example, we can say Amalia has glasses. Gabriel has a cup. Mm -hmm. Right? Or we can say Gerardo has a headphone. Uh, we can say Ana Julia has a pen, a red pen. Or we can say Areli has a little boy, a little boy around her. <laughs> Who is he? Who is he, Areli? Who is the little boy? Who is he your son or your grandson? Who, who is that little boy? Arely Janet. Hey, hello. Who is the little boy? He's a little boy. Who is he? Your son? Is or is he your grandson? Is is son? <laughs> he is your son. Yes. Es su hijo. Yes. <laughs> and how old is he? Yes. How old is he? Five years old. Four. Four, Four years. Oh, he's a baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, en realidad no es biológico, no que adoptivo, pero es sobrino, sobrino adoptivo. Ah, okay. So, sobrino is, how do you say sobrino in English, guys? Ah, uh, okay. How do you my say daughter, now my daughter, nephew. My daughter uh, is uh, ten, four years. 14 años. Ok, so that little boy is your nephew. Nephew, sobrino, nephew. 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 Yes. Nephew. <laughs> Thank you, Arely. Ok. <laughs> so over here you have examples, right? More examples. Who would like to read the other example? Elsa Noelia. Okay. Do you have a car? She has a doll. I have a dinosaur. Dinosaur. He has a dinosaur. Sword. He has a, a red yo-yo. Ricardo has a bike. I have a robot. He has a dinosaur. You have a yo-yo. Zara has a teddy bear. Thank you. Okay. Somebody was asking something.
Can you write some examples, guys, using have and has in the chat? Write in the chat, please, using have and has. Do you have a question, Amalia? El has. Oh, you wanted to read. Sí. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can read the next the next slide. Give me a moment. Uh -huh. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Don't worry. You are gonna write sentences, guy, using has, go, and does. Remember, we use this for the third person singular. Has, she, he, it, has. He, she, and it. Uh -huh. So write sentences, please. Go, goes, she, he, it. Yes, has, go, does, go, go, he, does, that, does, okay. does, does, she, he, it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Amalia. Okay, guys, now everybody please let's write sentences using these verbs in the chat. We have the first examples. Edith Carolina has, I have a baby. She has a motorcycle. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's continue writing with goes and does. Mm. Edith, ¿qué quiso decir con she does a drive? Okay, Peter has an English book. She goes to the park every day. He does the homework very fast. Excellent, Peter. Sorry, Jenny. <laughs> she goes to the supermarket. Okay, he has a car. Good. My sister has a car. My mother goes to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos Adolfo. En ese caso sería, he makes a cake. He makes a cake. What is the difference between da, do and make? Okay, we do, you, we mention an activity. For example, do homework, do the laundry, uh, do the hair, it's como peinarse, do the hair, do the dishes, lavar los trastes, wash the dishes, do the dishes. Um, do the cleaning. Okay, so activities, activities. A make is like create something. Perdón, en este caso entonces el do es más para lo, lo que se hace y make es como para lo que se puede Produce. como... Yeah. Produce or create, exactly. Crear, digamos, como haciendo, el, porque el pastel se hace, ¿verdad? Se, se, exactly, se make pupusas, make tamales. Ok, make y en el caso, 
tecnología como algo que se da en el, como, como el proceso, no sé, de repente no es tanto como, como hacer con humanos, por ejemplo, sino que es algo que Ajá. se produce y sigue continu por continuidad. Yeah, there are some, I mean, English is like that. They have their, their, their vocabulary like that, right? And we use do for that. Do the homework, do the laundry, do the hair, do the dishes, do the cleaning, just for activities. Because when I do the homework, it's an activity, right? An activity. I do the laundry, I wash the clothes. I do the hair, I comb my hair. But make is more when uh, it's also used for other uh, other uh, things. But in this case, that is the main difference with do. Make is more for produce to create something. Like the examples I put there, make make a, make the breakfast, make the lunch, make pupusas, make tamales. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome, Carla. Good, I can see the examples you are writing, typing. He goes to the gym, she goes to the gym. She has a pet, Maria goes shopping. Feria Noelia, Maria goes shopping. Isabella does the homework. I have a big house, he goes to school. She does yoga. Excellent, Briseida Yanet. He has a car, she does like singer. No sé qué edit Carolina. Solo tiene que usar un verbo. Ahí tiene dos verbos, Carolina. Maybe she likes singing. <clears throat> eh, my brother has a dog. Good, Adeli. She has long hair. He goes in the bath. She goes to the beach on weekends. He has a car. She goes to the gym. She makes cookies, Erika. In este caso, Erika. She makes cookies. He has two dogs. She goes to school. He plays the piano. ¿Por qué le ponen el das y el play? ¿Por qué dos verbos? I don't understand. She has a t-shirt. The teacher has a pair of earrings. That's correct. Uh, she has a cough. It's true. I have a cough. <laughs> my mother goes to work. My brother goes to church. My sister-in-law does the laundry. Okay. My dog has a toy. I have four nephews and I have three students who had a lot. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline. She makes pizza. But yeah, she makes pizza. When it's about food, it's make. The verb make. You make food. Let me see if I can find something here that can help you. What I don't understand is why some of you put another verb with that. Porque ponen dos verbos con das. I would like to know why. Yes. Because we are all confused about uh, the use of das. Okay. <laughs> A ahorita, right now, we are using das as the main verb. Lo estamos, en affirmative sentences lo estamos usando como un verbo principal. No es auxiliar ahorita. Okay. Only in question. And in the negative form, it's don't or doesn't. Now, let me um, share with you one information about do and make. I will send you to the WhatsApp group. Mm 
The thing what else we have, my mother has a dog, he has a big house, he goes to church, my mother has a cat. My mother, <laughs> Christian is, my mother makes make Okay, I send you this image. The difference between do and make. Okay, we use do for work, jobs, and tasks, as I told you, activities. For example, do the housework, do your homework, do a good job, like you did a good job, do your chores, or the, um, the activities we do in the house. We also use do for non-specific activities. Do something, do nothing, do anything, do everything. And we can replace other verbs. Lo que les decía, do your hair is como comb your hair. Do the dishes, wash the dishes. Do the exam, take the exam. Do the laundry, wash clothes. And also, okay. Oh, Okay, that's we do. Now with make, we use make with food, drink a meal, make a cake, make breakfast, make breakfast. Make dinner, make a cup of coffee. Also for, for products, material, product, uh, origin. We can see this when we buy something, right? And it's made, made in China. May in the United States, May in El Salvador, right? Made of gold, made from grapes, made in China, made by me. To produce a reaction, make your eyes water, I cry, make you happy, make you sleepy, make you smile. Plan the decisions, make arrangements, make a decision, make a choice, make a plan. We use make, we don't use do. Speaking and sounds, make a noise, make a comment, make a speech, make a suggestion, okay? So in those cases, we're gonna use make. And in the other cases, do. Okay, Ana Julia, that's great. My husband does the cleaning, okay? My husband. My husband does the cleaning. You can say, I do the exam. She does the exam. My mother does the dishes every day. I hope with, that this helps you guys. Okay, so now the last activity because we only have seven more minutes is that you are going to help me to make these sentences negative form. So can you help me please? I have another computer, negative. Carlos? What is the negative? I have another computer in negative? I have. I don't have. I don't have. No. I don't know. Okay. The second. Juan has a nice cell phone. Negative? He, don't, he Juan doesn't has a nice cell phone. Doesn't have. Great. 
Ana has a new pencil. Mm -hmm. Negative? Doesn't Anna have. doesn't have. Anna Anna doesn't doesn't have. have. I have a candy factory. I don't have. She has a red dress. She does. Negative? No. It doesn't have a red dress. You have new toys. You don't, you don't have. have. You doesn't have. You doesn't? You doesn't. You don't have. You don't. You don't have. You don't have new toys. New toys. New toys. New toys. My, my cat has a mouth. I. My cat doesn't have a mouth. Doesn't have a It has electric energy. It's dangerous. Then it 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 doesn't have electric energy. It doesn't have electric energy. We have to cut. We don't have. We don't have. I have a dog. I don't have I don't a dog. Have. I don't have a dog. <laughs> I don't have a Francisco and Anna have a new dog. Um, hey. Francisco hey. and Anna don't have. Hey. Hey, don't. Yeah, Francisco and Anna, but I'm gonna. I want to simple it. Okay, they don't have a new dog. Have, yeah. So in when we have the negative, the negative form is don't have and doesn't have for the third person. Okay, that is the negative form. It's not having. Algunos ponen, sorry, algunos ponen haven't. Uh, I haven't a computer. No, it's not. That's not correct. It's I don't have a computer. She doesn't have a cell phone. We don't have a car. He doesn't have a bike. Okay. Don't have, doesn't have. Now we have only two minutes. <laughs> Okay, guys, can you tell we um, the homework, guys, for you will be to make examples in the negative form with a do and with go. Okay, over here I have the examples we do do homework, do the laundry, do the ironing, the ironing, do my hair, but I have the difference here, make my bed. So you look at the examples here. I don't do my hair very often. My sister does her homework. My sister doesn't do her homework. She's lazy. Marcela does the laundry every Sunday. Marcela doesn't do the laundry every Sunday. He does exercise in the afternoon. He doesn't yeah. do exercise in the afternoon. Yeah, Examples we do, don't. It does and doesn't. Doesn't do. Okay, that is the negative form. Negative form, don't do, and doesn't do in the third person. Okay, guys, so I hope that you can uh, make more examples. We do and go, okay? I will send you this 
so that you can make your exercises. Can you tell me what did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos hoy? What did you learn today? In my case, Nega, uh, Nega. Um, the regulares. Make Three. and... And to the difference between make and do, okay. Ne negative form. The negative forms. Okay, I will continue. Exactly. We'll continue tomorrow, guys, okay? See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night.